You know, I really thought my last video on Hypnotist Saf would be the end, but nope, I was dead wrong. I really don't know what else to say other than I'm disappointed, but it is what it is, so let's keep moving forward. Shout out to my Patreon members for helping out. If you'd like to support the channel, check out the link in the description below. With that being said, let's dig right back into everything once again. After I posted my video on her, she came back rather soon with a long-winded message on her YouTube channel. She talks about how close she was to ending it all, but that she broke down and went inside the hospital, where they transferred her to a psychiatric one. She says she would retract herself from the internet and says that she's too dangerous to be socially online the way she is and that she causes nothing but issues and hurts people with her presence. She says she contacted multiple organizations that help with treatment for people like her and that she's trying to reach out to get herself the help she needs. She ends things off saying for people to let her die off already and that she has serious mental issues and got lost in the sauce basically. This moment of clarity will be short lived as just a few days later she'd make a community post calling out people making videos on her, leaving my name out of the post cause she knows I know what the fuck I'm doing, and to basically sum it all up, gets back on her old shit despite telling people to let her die already. The next day she makes a post telling people what her plans are now that she's back on the internet like nothing ever happened, and then she would drop a follow up with all the ways for people to talk to her and contact her and whatnot, even opening up a discord server along with it. She would then drop a YouTube video with the intent of teaching people how to hide their identity on the internet as much as possible for those who are sick in the head like her and want to be around her. Now her discord server was about what you'd expect, with the whole statement blatantly saying that people with all sorts of paraphiles are in there, but that it's all okay she's just building a community of mentally ill freaks like her in it. Saf will live up to her pet ways and post a video aptly titled this, along with an image of a lolly. A miner would say how they made a new friend in the server, and someone else would guess with them replying in the obvious non-answer implication type way that basically confirms it without outright saying it. Saf will say that she wants to move to Europe one day, and one of the voice chat rooms in the server is called Pawing Off Live, which for the furry fandom means getting their rocks off so to speak, mind you, in a server full of miners. Somebody named Zach would start to hit on her, and after someone asked if they were dating, he would say yeah, and post a date that clearly implies when they turn 18, meaning this person is 14 years old at the moment. After a name change, some more messages will leak of them saying some really nasty shit, as well as another going over their identity and whatnot as they introduce themselves to the server, saying how they I love ZR Kahlo and flirting about Sappho in the process. They would flirt miscellaneously with each other, talking about sleeping in a Discord call again, and Sappho saying that dating a 14 year old while herself at the age of 21 isn't illegal, showing the clear lack of sanity she possesses and just how far gone this person is. I would manage to get my hands on a call in a voice chat with the two of them in it, which is downright sick to listen to. You need mm. to literally look at the well, stuff. You're, you're just a big dork. You know that? <laughs> you are my handsome satanic prince. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And like you said, since I am satanic mama, that kind of implies something. <laughs> Um. It kind of does, doesn't it? <laughs> um, um, any and every day, yes. That was giggling and kicking my feet for real, for real. <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, did you see what I said about my dogs? No, I didn't. My... My lovens. I love you. Man. Aluga. Praise, and then there's just me over here offering yeah. to fucking give, give a fucking private dance in the Sappho Just avatar. standing there, like, staring yeah. intensely into the camera. I wanted to join I'm before I go to bed, because I wanted to bully you. <laughs> Hi. Charisma is muted, and it makes me mad. What? Um, I don't know, I can do Gangnam Style, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> She'd also get discharged from the military, presumably because of the extreme mental issues she has. Sappho would come back to Twitter soon after it was bought by Elon Musk, and proceeded to try and build her following on there as well. 
Truth be told, it wasn't really anything of importance to be honest, though her Discord server would end up getting nuked soon after making her account, so good on that. She would make a post about how she's in love with a 14 year old cause she's a sick freak, and I would catch a wind of it and make my own post after seeing it. Safa would then block me, start to cope on her timeline saying that I sent people to harass a 14 year old, and then try to get her zoo file friends to report my Twitter page cause she was butthurt I called her out on her shit. Along with this would be a telegram channel she made, one that was conveniently wiped on November 4th because I remember seeing her telling people to report my Twitter in there as well, but I never grabbed a screenshot. Some interesting things would be said in the chat, like how Sappho wants to drop her Sappho name but still stay around under her Valerie name while running her servers, and how she's going to church when we all know it's just a ploy to make people think she's bettering herself. She would even end up showing a tattoo she has on her wrist, showing that it's the Zeta Greek symbol, the one that zoo files like to represent themselves with, right on her left wrist. She talks about how dating a 14 year old as an adult isn't illegal because it's just a loving and caring relationship and gives people a relative idea how much older she is, which is about the 21 year age mark we've been talking about. She goes on to say she wants to marry them and how they're the most important person in her life and I pretty much threw up in my mouth after this because this was exactly the kind of shit she was saying to Kylo when we went over that in my last video. Speaking of Kylo, Zack said he used to be friends with them at one point in time and then a familiar face joins the chat and talks around for a bit, all nonchalant like it's normal to talk to a known predator like this, seemingly taking solace in her and Sappho trying to spin a narrative to get on his good side in real time. I would join the chat to talk shit and try to bait a response for content, and in doing so Sappho would wipe everything, meaning whatever the hell was being talked about earlier must have been some pretty weird stuff. She also started another Mastodon server, but it was basically a carbon copy of Twitter just on another platform, so nothing new was going on there at all. Things would take a turn however, as just as soon as she came back into the limelight and was finally settling in, she would private herself on Twitter and post a message in her Telegram chat, Mastodon server, and YouTube community tab all saying the same thing about how she's gonna dip out again from the internet. She says she only rejoined to piss people off now that she has more important things to worry about, like attending church and reading the bible and whatnot, and that she's praying for every single person blah 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 nobody's falling for that shit. This was a shock because she was really going at it on Twitter during this time, posting stuff like this and pretty much egging people on along with the church stuff, so to suddenly 180 things was very strange. Well, before she dropped Twitter, she changed her name to Connor for a bit, and I happened to see this in real time. The name Connor was a completely new name that I hadn't seen yet, so I decided to dig around the internet and see what this name would conjure up, and I found some pretty interesting stuff. Two notable images would be leaked, the first being an uncensored image of Sappho in her military uniform, and another of her old Snapchat account, aptly named Connor. That Snapchat account would lead to an Instagram account, then a Twitch account, and then eventually to another alternate Twitter account. The Twitter ain't nothing special, but some notable posts will be made like the one on screen, talking about age gaps and whatnot as far back as two years ago, showing how mentally stunted this person is. All three of the social media accounts will get deleted shortly after, meaning that people were on her tail and Sappho knew it, and so she began to try to cover her tracks up. We still have our leaked photo to go through, as people can see part of her birth last name in there ending in Aundi, and so the digging would commence. Some people were able to find an email account associated with Sappho, and plugging this email into Have I Been Pwned shows it was used in Animal Jam, a game that Sappho would play a lot as seen in my last video. Plugging this into Epios gives us the name Connor Roundy, and guess what? That last name fits perfectly onto Sappho's uniform. After over a year of digging around on the internet, people were finally able to attach a name to this scumbag, and her post leaving the internet suddenly became very clear. She wasn't leaving on her own terms to find God or whatever, she finally got caught and knew she had to dip out before things started to bleed into her real family life one way or another. It gets funnier though, as the very day I was researching and writing up this script, the person of the hour would message me on telegram herself trying to somehow shift things onto ZR Callow and apologize for the stuff back in her chat. I wasn't falling for any of that shit, and she would tell me she's estranged from her family, and then go on about how she's dating the 14 year old and would wait any amount of time for them. I would call her scum and delusional, and she would say that love happens unexpectedly blah 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 trying to justify dating a 14 year old. She says she's going to church and might come back to the limelight as a preacher one day. I talk more shit to her and her delusions. And then she would try to flirt with me for some reason to no avail, because unlike the children she talks to, I'm an adult who can see past these poor attempts at manipulation and see her for who she truly is. She's really fucking weird, sending me cute cat gifts to try and conversate or whatever with me, when all she's doing is giving me content to use for this video. 
She also nuked the chat despite saying she wouldn't, so good thing I saved the logs in time. Despite saying how she's gonna dip from the internet, Sappho would end up on a live stream where people were basically just talking shit to ZR Callow after that debacle went down, and nothing important really happened other than her confirming she's known Callow since way back in that Xanadu chat I mentioned, which I previously had been told but never had any evidence till now. Didn't you mention that you were in alt-right furry chats with Zikawa all the way back oh. to 2018? Oh yeah, I was, uh, mm. I was in Xanadu, yeah. But yeah, yeah, I was in Xanadu. She's currently back on Twitter trying to crusade against the channel owner Casafox now, but it's so boring it's not even worth going over. She's just mad people don't treat her nicely. Sappho's still out and about on the internet and will never leave because she knows that her echo chamber is all she has left. It's very unfortunate some kids hang around this person, but as they grow up they'll eventually learn how fucked up of a person she is, and more heinous shit will leak about her like clockwork. She's a manipulative loser who tries to justify her attraction to children, but nobody is falling for that shit in the real world because we aren't terminally online like her. It's funny because she pretends she doesn't love the attention and tells people to stop talking about her, yet always comes back to the internet because she enjoys pissing people off with their very existence. One thing's for sure, I'll be waiting around like usual, because until then, we just gotta wait and see for what's next in the Hypnotist Sappho's saga.